I think Kim Hargreaves is one of the best designers in the world. And after more than 30 years of beautiful garments, she is retiring, but not before leaving us a beautiful collection of 21 classic designs in her latest and greatest and last book, Adore. Let's have a look. I'm Ellen Lewis from Crazy For You, and I am so happy you are here tonight. My goodness, everybody is here, aren't you? Wow, happy holidays to everyone. Hey, Barbara, Ellen, Diane, Gwen, nice to see you. So as I said, I have loved Kim Hargreaves ever since I started knitting. And that was in the 80s. And I think she started in the late 70s, pretty much right after Rowan Yarns came on the scene. So she has been a mainstay of Rowan designs. And she just, everything she does, I think is beautiful and classic. Um, she has a really timeless style. And what I wanted to do is really jump into this collection, Adore. Some of these designs are going to look very thematic to you. You know, if you've been following Kim a long time, you will see that some of these garments are very reminiscent of others that you have seen in the past. Um, but I think you will love them all. They're all updated with current yarns and really, really beautiful. Hey, Sandy, nice to see you. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen because I did put together a little presentation for you. Um, so that you can see the garments up close. Hang on, let's see a minute. All right, that is not what I wanted to do. All right, Kim Hargreaves. Let me go to the beginning of this. Yeah, so I was about to jump into the end, and that wouldn't be good, would it? There we go, okay. All right, everybody see? Okay, so this is Adore. This is the, the last book. Um, and these are her words, a nostalgic collection of 21 classic designs. So I think it is absolutely lovely. Let me get this big enough so you can all see it. Okay, so the first one is Insight. And Insight is knit in Alpaca Classic. It's a beautiful deep V-neck cardigan with patch pockets. Um, construction is that it has set in sleeves and a wide cuff. You can see that it's, um, you know, the arms, the sleeves are rather loose. Looks like it would be a very, very comfortable kind of fit. That is worked in, as, as I said, in Alpaca Classic at a gauge of 23 stitches over four inches. And this is Treasured. Treasured is in brushed fleece, which is a bulky yarn. This is a wonderful um, garment with lace and bobbles. It's got a, a dropped shoulder and a wide turtleneck. And I love the way they've styled it here, both um, with a little belt and without. So I think that's very pretty. Oh, we have some new people joining us. Hey, Patty, Whitney. Hey, Evelyn, nice to see you. Terry, and Kelly, hi, hi, hi. Oh my goodness. So tell me in the chat as we go through which ones you like the most, or you know, if you see one that you like, catch the name and say, you know, just say the name because I, I'm interested in what, what you guys like. All right, so that's treasured. Where are my notes? Okay. And this is Promise. And Promise is kind of a, a sister garment to Treasure. It has the same stitch pattern, but as you can see, it is a, um, a cardigan. Also worked in the brush fleece, um, chunky lace and bobbles same dropped shoulders, but look at this beautiful wide portrait collar. You can see it in the full length and in the, the detail here. I think that's really pretty. This would be very light to wear as well. You know, we think of these oversized chunky cardigans with lots and lots of stuff going on as, as heavy, but because it's knit in brushed fleece, 
it's going to have a nice light feel to it. So it's not going to weigh you down. All right. Ellen likes insight. Whitney loves promise. Kelly loves promise. Yeah, I think this would be the kind of thing that you could knit and wear uh, with everything, right? Okay. And this is vault. Um, and as I'll show you in the next slide, um, treasured promise and vault are like siblings. Okay. So again, same stitch pattern worked in the same yarn. This one is slightly cropped. It's chunky lace and bobble, same, same kind of thing. Um, I love the way she styled it with this tight little pencil skirt. Don't you love that? I think that's gorgeous. All right. Now here are the three of them together. You can see this is um, this is promise here on the left. This is treasured right here in the center, and this is vault. So I think it's fascinating to see how the little subtle changes in you know shape and styling here make it look like a completely different garment, right? Fun. Does anybody like this cropped version, the vault? I think it's very sexy, especially in black, you know? <laughs> All right, there's vault again. What am I doing here? Okay, the next one is depth. And depth is knit in soft boucle, which is a beautifully soft, um, alpaca boucle. So it has really great texture. It's knit at a gauge of 14 stitches over four inches, has this deep V neck and raglan construction. So very easy fitting. Um, and they show it in two lengths. This is that, that long hits you just above the knee. So if you were wearing a, you know, a shorter skirt, it would hit you right at your, you know, at your skirt level. And then they have it here in this small, this um, in the inset here in kind of a hip length in the black. It's sort of hard to see. I tried to find a larger picture of that, but it really didn't, didn't show up. But I think that's really pretty. So the, yeah, Meredith likes depth, similar, you know, in length, but again, not as much kind of busyness going on. So this would be for those of us who like to knit miles and miles of stockinette. But because this is knit in the soft boucle, you're still going to get a lot of beautiful texture without a lot of hassle. Right? Who doesn't love that, huh? <laughs> What's my next one? Okay, tempting. This is so reminiscent of a Kim Hargreaves sweater I knit years and years ago with this little peplum styling. It's kind of a signature of Kim's. Um, this, it's got a beautiful waist shaping and then this flare that comes out at the waist. Um, this is also worked in soft boucle at that same chunky gauge, 14 stitches. It's beautiful. This is a, um, a fairly close fitting garment with a set in sleeve and there is waist shaping. And I will tell you that if you are um, at all long waisted, and I, I'm, I've probably talked about this before with Kim Hargreaves stuff, I personally have to lengthen it quite a bit. I think her, her lengths are for very, very short bodied people. You know, they're for, for models who have shorter bodies and longer legs. So it's really, really worth looking at the schematic and making sure that the, the length from armhole to waist and waist to hem or from armhole to hem, that that length is going to suit you. If you need to adjust that, make sure that you do. And you can do that just by taking your own measurements and then looking at this schematic. Okay, back on track. Hi, Polly. Yes, Ellen, I love the soft boucle too. Uh, you just finished something in the soft boucle, didn't you, Whitney? Yes. So very pretty. All right. This is Holly. 
this is um, very different from anything else in this collection, I think. Um, looks really kind of complicated. It's, um, it's stranded, of course with a dropped shoulder, very oversized, but she's been so clever in the way she did this. So uh, it's not brushed, yeah, it is brushed fleece. So brushed fleece is what she's used for the black. So you're working with a strand of brushed, brushed fleece for the black, and then for the white contrast color, you're using three strands of Alpaca Classic. And if you look at this kind of close up, you can see that there's both sort of a white in the background and a gray in the background. And she's achieved that with two different colors of Alpaca Classic and carrying them in different proportions. So there might be two strands of the gray and one strand of the white or, or three strands of the white or th two strands of the white and one strand of the gray. And she, um, she gets this beautiful gradient of um, the white by doing that with the alpaca classic. I think it's so incredibly clever of her. I think this is beautiful. Very oversized, very pretty. You could do it in, you know, in any color. If you didn't like the black, you could do it, you know, in a, in a paler color and have less contrast if you wanted, or you could do it in navy. Um, you know, lots of options, obviously, as there always is. So that's Holly. Ooh, Gwen says, I would love to make that. Oh, well, maybe you can, Gwen. You'd want to make the smallest size, though, because it is very oversized. Okay, this is Asher, and I love what she has done here. Asher is a pullover. It's worked in um, kind of a fisherman rib. So that's a, you know, a mock brioche where you knit one in the stitch below. Um, it's got a funnel neck, uh, dropped shoulder, bell sleeves, but look how different it looks in the solid and the stripe. I, I don't even like the solid, but I love that stripe so much that I would make this. <laughs> um, really pretty, really pretty construction. Um, you work this with a strand of Kid Classic and a strand of Kid Silk Haze, which is going to give you kind of a, an Aran weight yarn. Kid Classic is like a heavy worsted. You put that Kid Silk Haze with it and you're looking at something like 16 stitches over four inches in a stockinette fabric. Of course, your, your gauge is not going to be, the gauge numbers are not going to be relevant here because it is a fisherman's rib, but really pretty. Let's see. Yes, I love that too. Did you already get the book, Meredith? Gwen loves the stripe, yep. Terry. Yep. The stripe. I think this is so cute. It reminds me a little bit of the Breton sweaters, you know, with the, with the stripes just kind of in the middle of the body. So anyway, I think it's really, really pretty. And that would be very soft. And I think it would be pretty fast to knit too at, at that gauge. Not as fast as, you know, big wool or brushed fleece, but fast enough. Okay. And this is elate which is a, obviously a cardigan. It's very, very light because it's worked with four strands of Kid Silk Haze on a big needle. So it has this beautiful um, gentle V neck, wonderful ease, just a kind of a, a gentle curve at the, you know, at the, um, the, the button band. Obviously there's no button band, but just kind of rolls there. Doesn't it just look so soft? I think it helps that she's styled it with this lovely kind of um, lamb fur thing. I'm not even sure what that is. I guess it's a brushed, brushed lamb. I'm not sure. But then, you know, she shows it very, very different feel in this green color, this drab shade. So I think that's really pretty. Why is that showing that way? All right. 
Okay, so that's elate, slightly tapered sleeve. So again, very easy fitting. Ellen likes elate, Barb likes elate. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Meredith got the adore book for Christmas. <laughs> It's okay. Now you know. Now you know that you don't have to go out and buy it. So that was very thoughtful. All right. Yeah, I think this one is gorgeous. So, I mean, Meredith has already said that there are three or four patterns in here that she really likes. So I think it's probably worth getting. All right. What's next? Okay. Bitten. What Kim often does is she will do several sort of similar versions this again is worked with four strands of kid silk haze. It's not exactly a sister to Bitten, maybe, I mean, to uh, Elate, maybe more like a cousin, but really pretty pullover version, very easy fitting, um, raglan sleeve line here, um, feels very light. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. And you could do it as she's done here with a single color for four strands of one color but look how interesting this is where she's used four strands but she's done it as a gradient this would be so much fun especially with the all the new in, incredible colors of kid silk haze they're so they're so subtle you know this the variance in the colors of the kid silk haze really lend themselves to this kind of thing going dark to light i think that is beautiful all right okay polly favorite so far bitten right ellen absolute favorite bitten yes who doesn't love this love bitten yeah this would be this would be gorgeous and i would love to do this as a as a knit along. So if you're in, let me know. Just say I'm in on Bitten. Okay. Love that. And I can tell you that four strands of Kid Silk Haze knits really beautifully. It's a really light fabric. And I don't feel like you really have to wear an underlayer unless you're going with the white. But you can, of course. So very pretty. So Polly likes Elate. Interesting. Elate, Bitten. Just they're, they're so similar. One is a pullover and one is a cardigan. And you know, I think you could do Elate with a gradient as well. You know, that would be a fun thing to do. Where am I going? Whoops, going the wrong way. Elate, Bitten, Trust. Okay, those of you who follow fashion um, know that um, this jacket is kind of a big deal. It's, it's a jacket that looks like a shirt. You know, it's heavier than a shirt, but you wear it like a jacket. Um, they call this an overshirt, which is exactly what a, a jacket is. Um, this one is worked in felted tweed. Erin? dropped shoulder, moss stitch, very structured. I gotta be honest, this is not my personal style. I think it's gorgeous, but I'm just not, it doesn't speak to me the way 99% of her stuff does. However, Whitney loves it. Now Whitney's young. <laughs> Whitney is my oldest daughter's age. So I think it's definitely a nod to the current trend. This is very, very current. And yeah, really great point. It's, it's beautifully androgynous. So this would be great, you know, styled with like brogues and, you know, full, full jeans maybe. I think that would be great. Tell me how you would, um, how you would style that, Whitney. I would be interested. All right. Kelly likes trust. All right. Good, good. I'm glad to know that, you know, because not everything is my personal style, right? It's not all about me. <laughs> all right, let's see what Meredith has to say. All right, Ellen would put with that with leggings and boots. Yeah, that would be cute. Uh, don't normally do, yeah, cool. 
love to hear your thoughts on this. I think that makes a huge difference. All right. What's next? Okay, hidden. This is gorgeous. This is going to appeal to you, Whitney. Um, because look at this back. So this is a lightweight top. This is unlike the other two that were worked with four strands of Kid Silk Haze. Hidden is worked with a single strand of Kid Silk Haze. So you know what kind of fabric that is. Very, very lightweight top. And I love this plunging back neck. Now, if that plunging back neck is not you, there is an option to do two fronts and that gives you a beautiful bateau neck. This is just a, a classic, elegant, lightweight thing. And I mean, they show it here almost as an evening item, but honestly, I think this would be super cute with jeans. If you did a little talk in the front, you could wear it under a jacket to work even. You probably would want um, an underlay or a cami or something under this because one strand of Kids Hill K's is a little bit see-through, but I think this is beautiful. And my goodness, wouldn't it feel amazing? Okay, so we have some comments on trust. I'm going to go back to trust. Okay, so... Diane points out you can use two felted tweeds to get felted tweed, Aaron. Yep, that is absolutely true. Thank you for mentioning that, Diane. Um, lots more color choices with that. Um, a lot of people don't like to carry two strands, but I don't mind at all. And if you wanted to, to do that, you could use, you know, some of the more um, intense colors that are available in felted tweed. So thank you for that. Polly... Okay, Whitney is saying she would style this with jeans and a tee and flat, thicker boots. Yes, a little bit more combat-y kind of boots maybe, right? Um, yes. All right. Wonder if I would like it better without the boxy pockets. Maybe, but then it wouldn't be that garment. <laughs> I know what you're saying, Polly, but then it wouldn't be the garment if you took the boxy pockets out. All right, Meredith, I think you're probably talking about this one as a staple for under cardigans. Yes, this would be a gorgeous staple piece, just a lightweight layering piece, goes with everything, absolutely fabulous. Yep, absolutely. Okay, so hidden, beautiful. All right, belong. Again, this is one, two strands of Kids OK. So a little heavier than this one, but not as heavy as um, Elate and Bitten. So two strands of Kids OK's um, lace and bobbles. It doesn't have two back options. I'm sorry, that's from the last slide. Um, subtle waist shaping. Very pretty. This is the kind of thing where if you like uh, that one, but it's too boring for you to knit, um, you might like doing this better. Modified drop shoulder. So you you do have a drop shoulder, but you it's cut in like we were talking about in the club the other day, Meredith. It's cut in to take away a little of that bunchy, but it does have a very shallow sleeve cap. So a lot of ease in the shoulder area. Okay, not a bobble fan. So yeah, so if you're not a bobble fan, this might not be for you, but it is, I think it's really lovely. Secret. Okay, so this is one that she has done one pattern, but they are, there's the pullover and the um, cardigan option. This is really lovely. And th those of you who've seen her more recent trunk shows, I think we had um, Divine in here, you will recognize this um, ribbing treatment at the bottom where she's got a garter stitch at the bottom and top of this ribbing, which gives it such a clean structured look. And it's perfect for um, allowing the cables to kind of look clean and separate from the ribbing, but still integrated. This is very pretty. Set in sleeve, uh, subtly, subtle tapering at the sleeves, has about five inches of ease. 
and you would want to maybe choose the size that had more ease if you were going with the cardigan. Just my two cents on that. I think this is really pretty and this would be very fun to knit. This is in one of the most beautiful worsted weight yarns I've ever seen, Pebble Island. Evelyn, you used Pebble Island, I know, and isn't it just gorgeous? So this is very pretty. They're, they're all lovely. This is Beatrix, and to me, this is classic Kim Hargreaves. Diane, you will agree, I'm sure. This kind of pleated peplum here is so classically Kim. I think it's just lovely. She has these buttons in the front. Um, and if you look here, you can see that at the back, the back is a little bit longer. So you have this attractive little swoop just above the um, just above the derriere. So I think that's really pretty. Can you see that? Very pretty. It's so perfectly designed. I mean, this is one of those things that just fits so beautifully. Um, this is worked in felted tweed. So it's gonna have um, a light feel, but a decent amount of structure, right? Really pretty. Very ladylike, I think. Very classic Kim. Oh my, look at, this is too funny. Oh, she made, she made that the first time it came out. Yes, you remember that? What year was that? I would love to know when that first came out. So yes, very Victorian witchy. Yes, you could make this in kind of a black or a dark purple. That would be stunning. Would be interested in knowing how you would style this. What would you wear this with? I personally think a long, slim pencil skirt, long, slim black pencil skirt would be gorgeous. Um, it also looks nice with these trousers. 2004. Yeah, I think that's probably right. That's when I opened the store, it was in 2004, and I remember having all the Kim Hargreaves. All right, what's next? Okay, Charge. This is so cute. Again, classic Kim with this beautiful detailing. You've got the, um, the horizontal motif and then these, um, this stitch pattern inside, that same structure at the waist that sets off the ribbing. I think this is lovely. You've got two neckline options here. So you've got a turtleneck and then you've got, it's really just a split turtleneck. And that's all the difference between these two is one, the neckline is worked continuous as a turtleneck. And here it's worked, um, you know, you just don't close it all the way up. I don't even think that there's um, any shaping on that. I could look and check if you are interested. But um, yeah, so very pretty. This is interesting because it does have a shaped shoulder, but the construction is such that she does a three needle bind off on the right side. So you have an exposed seam. This is, it has a, what I call a tapered shape. So it's wider at the bust and it comes down, narrows um, toward the waist. I mean, toward the, you know, toward the hem. So as you're knitting this bottom up, you're increasing toward the bust. Very, very pretty. This has worked in one of my favorite yarns, Alpaca Soft DK, which has just stunning stitch definition and is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So Diane knit that other one in a pinkish color. I think it was shown in a pink color, wasn't it? Beautiful. All right, Barbara likes charge. Yes, charge in turtleneck. Mm -mm, so pretty. Yeah, this would be fun to knit. I know a lot of you are not big stockinette fans, so I think this would be gorgeous. Classic. You wear this the rest of your life. Speaking of classic, this next one is called Classic. Um, similar to the other one, I've put the um, charge right next to it to show you how they are similar and how they are different. This one has an actually different neckline. It has this deep um, kind of polo neckline with a little bit of a portrait collar. But other than that, they are rather similar. Okay, again, they are, they are sisters. You know, I think this is really pretty. 
All right. Isn't that funny? Ellen likes charge with the turtleneck. Betty likes charge with the open collar. And Kelly likes classic. So there's something for all of us, isn't there? Here is Gracious. Gracious is knit in one of my absolute favorite fabrics, which is a strand of fine lace and a strand of Kid Silk Haze. I think this is actually the color combination I am using right now for the Stockholm sweater. And I can tell you, this is a stunning fabric. This is so nice to knit. It is so nice against your skin. I think this is a beautiful, elegant design. Love the long sleeves, the deep rib, deep rib both at the cuff and at the waist. I think that's beautiful. All right, Diane, <laughs> isn't it gorgeous? I love that. I would knit that absolutely. I have to do a different color because I've already got a sweater in this color. Yeah, wonderful. So I am using um, Cameo for the kit for the fine lace and oh, I can't remember the pink, but it, it's it's just about this color. It's almost exactly the same. If you look um, on my Instagram, Diane, you can see I had a picture of it and I will post that there. But yeah, the two colors are really lovely. It's kind of a soft mauve, just perfect, perfect, perfect. So this, because you have such a deep two by two ribbing and it pulls in so tight for the waist, you do a little bit of shaping to increase at the bust. Gorgeous set in sleeve, a beautiful, classic, perfect fit. All right, stance. Um, this is interesting because when I saw this, this is the first instance of stance that you see in the, um, in the magazine or the collection, and I don't love it. In fact, I would have to say I hate it. But I guess having it bulky and, and closed and belted with that skinny belt, it just doesn't speak to me. But here in this larger picture in the black with it open, I think is absolutely stunning. Obviously, this is a cardigan with a deep V neck, raglan sleeves. It's knit in big wool and it's intended to have a huge amount of ease, 12 inches of ease. And this has an interesting textured stitch. Um, it's not charted, so I didn't really, and it's only written out. I didn't really go into it too much, but it does have a pretty texture that makes it interesting to knit. I think this is very, very nice. Just don't, don't bring it up and belt it for me, please. Um, anyway, really lovely. Let's see. Ellen likes, Ellen likes stance. Yep. Good, good. Hi, Lori. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. And fierce. This is, this is very fun. This is also knit in big wool. If you like cables and texture, this is your girl. Um, tell me in the comments what you think about fierce. So she shows it in this kind of, um, this green, I believe this is cactus. And then she shows it in the black again, 12 inches of ease. Very pretty. It's got a deep raglan construction here and the these cables fall just inside the raglan. So they really highlight the construction of this sweater. I think this is really pretty. And this is the last one. Um, and this is Thrill. This is the only accessory in the book. It is a fisherman's rib beanie knit in big wool. And you can see that she's put it with, with so many of the garments and it looks really, really super cute. So, so there is that. All right. It gives me anxiety thinking about knitting fierce. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably not for you. It's busy, busy, busy. Um, but anyway, that is a quick run through of Kim Hargreaves' final book. I'm so sad to have to say that. I love her stuff so much. Um, most of her recent past few years books are still available. I have them at the shop. I have them online. I think if you got a door, you would be happy knitting from it for forever. Probably this is one of my favorite books as well as sand for um, spring summer garments. And you'll see the similar kind of Kim styling in both of those. So I think you could knit happily 
at least I could knit happily the rest of my life from those two books, um, just adjusting for whatever yarns go in and out. But anyway, go ahead and get the, um, the Adore if you like it. The link is in the description. So um, yeah, anyway, thank you guys for being here. Um, this is live, so it is uh, just before Christmas. I wish you all a very happy holiday season, and I look forward to seeing you afterward when we will be looking at um, what a beginner knit in a year. So we will see you next week. Thanks for joining me. Have a great evening.